Happening today, ExxonMobil planning to restore its refinery in Torrance to full operation for the first time since last year's explosion. KTLA Vice Christina Pascucci live in Torrance with more on what local residents are saying about that. Christina, good morning. Frank, good morning to you. Yes, ExxonMobil was set to restart this refinery over the weekend. Uh, during Mother's Day, they delayed it, but they didn't give a reason why residents say, and that has created even more distrust. So let's take you to these images from last February when this explosion occurred here. This refinery has not been fully operable since that point, uh, but the long-awaited restart to make it fully operable will be tonight, according to a notice sent out by the city. The city of Torrance did send out the 24-hour notice required by law that the refinery uh, will start its major gasoline processing unit. It'll be 7 tonight until 7 a.m. Residents were warned also this could result in higher than normal emissions for about six hours or so. And while the city said air quality standards will not be compromised, one major issue that's been raised is the Air Quality Management District voted last month to allow ExxonMobil to restart this refinery without pollution control devices because they say they can cause greater risk of an explosion. Last year's explosion, for example, occurred in the refinery's main pollution control device. I spoke to a longtime resident who's been vocal about this. He works with Climate uh, South Bay 350 and has been trying to shut down the refinery since 2009. Listen. Well, first of all, they're breaking the law. We have laws about what the pollution limits are, and they've been given a pass by the AQMD to exceed those limits. There's no excuse for that, and we will be less safe the entire time they're doing that. Imagine, they're going to be doing the same terrible things they're doing every day, but now they're turning the pollution controls off. That's absurd. Another big concern, a federal investigation found last year's blast almost caused a catastrophic release of highly toxic hydrofluoric acid. It could be deadly, could have killed hundreds of thousands of people, that report said. The concern, though, is whether the refinery is safe overall, what issues of pollution could cause. Uh, the Air Quality Management District said it will monitor the air quality. And this morning, we have reached out to ExxonMobil. We are awaiting comment from them, as well as AQMD, as soon as we hear anything further. We will pass that along to you. I'm Christina Pascucci, reporting live from Torrance this morning. I'll send it back to you in the